It was actually right before the executive order was issued by Franklin Roosevelt that um, there was this talk about we're going to be removed from the West Coast. But we didn't know prior to that time who would be removed, just the aliens or the um, uh, citizens, everybody. And then where would we go? And then when, um, so there are all these questions. But in the meantime, interestingly enough, um, Tosh and um, Kay were attending the JACL meetings. And they were held, like, I think on a weekly basis. They were quite uh, faithful in participating in that. I don't know what all went on, but they did uh, attend those meetings. Actually, we had only about six days of official notice to um, leave the island. And those were posted. It's not like email or telephone or anything. There were actual written uh, notices posted on buildings and telephone poles around the island to say you must leave the island by um, March 30th. And but just several days prior, my dad went to um, Wenatchee. And I believe he must have gone to see if you know, he could possibly move the family to a you know, safer place. But then he came back the following day and nothing came of it. But I think that's what he had in mind. And when the, after the official notice, um, we didn't have suitcases because we really hadn't traveled or anything. But there were people in the community who, you know, donated suitcases so that we would have something to put it in our belongings. We didn't know what to take, what to pack. I mean, did we need kitchen utensils? Did we need other things. As it turned out, it was mainly personal items, you know, your clothing and your personal uh, toiletries and those things that we ended up taking and only what we could carry, uh, each person could carry. Um, <clears throat> not knowing where we were going was the biggest, uh, you know, question in our mind. I mean, we're going somewhere about where, and they didn't tell us. And that was the year when the strawberries were early. It was doing beautifully. There were flowers on the bushes. And uh, it was going to be a bumper crop. And it was so sad to have to leave that. And uh, fortunately, my dad uh, was able to get one of his Filipino workers to take over the farm. So Pete Garcia took over the farm and uh, took care of the harvest and managed it during our absence. They also needed um, someone to rent the house. So this lady and her son uh, rented the house uh, and stayed there um, during the war years. <clears throat> 